Hello and welcome to the Big Dumb Networking Dude channel. Today we're going to be doing exactly what the title says, installing Cisco Modeling Labs 2.8 on Proxmox. I believe I'm running Proxmox 8.2.3. Not that that really matters. Uh, I am a pretty big fan of Cisco Modeling Labs. I've used it ever since the viral days. It has bit gotten way better in terms of network emulation goes. I've used you know GNS3. Even G, CML, I'm not saying CML is the best of them all, but being that I typically deal with a lot of Cisco images, it just makes a lot more sense for me to use. But we're not gonna add a lot of fluff to this video. We're going to get right into the configuration right now. First thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your browser of choice and navigate to software.cisco.com. And we're gonna be looking for modeling labs. The latest release we're going to be working with is 2.8.0. I know it does say to, and recommends to use still 2.7.2, but we will be doing 2.8. So being that this isn't being installed on Proxmox, we will need to download this ISO file right here. And we will also need to download this ISO, which is the ref plat that holds all of our images that we will be spinning up within uh, CML. So I have already downloaded those to save time. Once they have been downloaded, we need to get them uploaded into Proxmox. You can do the norm, the CML 2.8 here. You can upload that through the Proxmox GUI. I had no issues with that. I do, however, sometimes run into issues with any file that is around, I don't know, seven gigs and above, sometimes doesn't like to go through the GUI. So for that, I just use FileZilla. I connected with FileZilla and then I transferred that large RefPlat ISO, which again has all those images to var lib vz template and ISO. And as you can see, it is already here. So we already have our images, our ISOs uploaded into Proxmox. Now what we gotta do is just go ahead and get this VM spun up. Let's come up here, select create VM. We are going to have to give it a name. We will call this CML-home. For OS, our OS is stored on our local here. And then the ISO image we want is CML2 underscore 2.8.0. Obviously, if you are installing a different version, such as 2.7, that will be different for you. But here we are doing 2.8, so that is what we will select. Under system, we do need to make a quick change, and that is to the BIOS. Typically, the default for of C, C BIOS is okay. But in this case, we do need to do OVMF in the UFI, which then we need to also select EFI storage. We'll go ahead and throw that on the VM data store and click next. So 32 gigs is the minimum needed to get the server up and running. We're gonna go ahead and give it 150 because I do have storage to spare. And that needs to be on the VM data store. Click next. CPU. So I'm going to be running some pretty beefy topologies, especially, you know, with the Cat 9000 image. It is like four cores and 16 gigs of RAM, I think, or maybe 18 gigs of RAM to get that bad boy up and going. So we are going to need some power here. So I will be going with two sockets and we'll say 20 cores to give me a total of 40 cores and i do have 88 available to me on this server that i'm installing this on so if i got to adjust later on i will do that next so type this is very important so for the uh, cpu architecture you want to go down all the way to the bottom and collect and select host that's very important to make sure host is selected for for the type memory I'm going to do 250 gigs, so I think that's 256,000. 
Next, uh, network, I'm gonna keep, go ahead with VMBR0, that is my management network, that's the IP that I wanted to get to be able to get to the web console or GUI. And then I will also create two more NICs and attach them to this after the VM is created uh, so that I can kind of bridge out to the internet um, as portions of my lab as needed. So that's all we need to do. Go ahead and hit next, you know, make sure everything is what you expect and then click finish. And that should go ahead and get our VM going right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those two extra NICs that I said I was going to do earlier. So network, and then I'm going to give the, I used to have Eve NG on this, so this is why it's named what it is, but I will go with Eve one. That is one network within my, you know, over, one network work within my, you know, my lab environments. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Eve one, and then I will give it one more for Eve two. Add that, and then I think we are good to go ahead and get this started and actually start the start the configuration. Before I hit start now, I do want to show you one more thing I added to this that I forgot to mention as I was going through it was I did add that ref plat. Where is that at? Yes, right here, ID zero, the ref plat, which will be needed later on in the installation. I don't think it hurts adding it right now so I went ahead and added that, and you just gotta go you know, up here, add CD, DVD, select your IDE, select the storage, and select the ISO image. So just one thing I forgot and wanted to hit on that, so when we get to that point during the installation, you're not like, whoa, how come we didn't see that? So let's go back over here to console. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start now. So this initial installation, process before we're actually given prompts to actually kind of input anything or make selections of how we want things installed. I would say takes about 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this right now and then we will start back up again once we're at a spot where we're actually going to be interacting with some prompts. <laughs> So like I said, that did take some time. I would say, you know, about 20 minutes has elapsed and we now are greeted with this screen. So let's go ahead and hit continue on this. And then we'll get the good old fashioned EULA. Feel free to read that in its entirely if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit accept. Then, let's see, yep, go ahead and continue there. Help, that works. So, CML can be deployed in a cluster for you know the enterprise licensing or a standalone. I'm gonna go ahead and just do standalone name. We'll just call it CML home to have some continuity between Proxmox and this. All right, username. Uh, let's see. Just do my normal one. Password. Oops. Oh. Ah, stupid. There we go. All right, there we go. Now I'll continue that. So we will change this to just so I keep everything the same so I don't forget it. Do 
Hang you there. Ooh, that's a good question. Because we do have multiple interfaces now. Let me see what the Mac on this is. So, 7 Charlie, 9 Charlie. 7 Charlie, 9 Charlie. Yep, that's the one we want. That's the management. The HCP. Um... Yeah, we can go ahead and configure this with DHCP. I can res I'll set a reservation for it. And confirm. And so again, this is another... Oh, no, we're good. So, again, this is where I said I attached that RefPlat ISO to be loaded. And again, that shows here, you know, it could take 10 minutes. So we'll probably go ahead and pause it again. But there would be an option that if I did not do that to then add it at that given time, I found that actually does cause issues because then Proxmox needs you to basically reboot to add that new IDE, which CML doesn't like being interrupted like that. So I always add it there in the beginning. But if you wanted to, there is also an option we're not going to see here, but it's basically you can skip and add the images later once it's been fully installed. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And again, this is going to take some time to get all these images on here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this again and we will pick back up when the next step is ready to be configured. Okay, cool. So it is all done, finished up installing and we are ready to go ahead and actually log into the UI for CML. So we actually have two web consoles that we can basically get into. We have an admin console and then the console or UI where we would be actually creating our topologies in. So let's go ahead and look at the admin console real quick. That's the one ending in the you know, ports 9090. So again, we'll log in as the user we created earlier. And cool. So, you know, from here, we're able to look at some logs, mess with storage, you know, do some things with networking, with uh, some of the interfaces that we have provisioned for CML to use. But really, this is where we will most likely be spending most of our time, and that is where we can actually be building out our topologies. So let's get logged into that. Maybe if I do my password right. There we go. And that's it. We are in our dashboard, you know, we can go ahead and, you know, start our own topology. We can go here and add our nodes. Here we know that you know, everything got added correctly. So overall, it looks like we have a successful install of CML 2.8 on Proxmox. And that's it. That's all it takes. So pretty easy, pretty painless. It is New Year's Eve where I'm at. So... This will be the last video of 2024. I look forward to seeing you all in 2025. So just make sure you stay labbing and stay classy. Oh brother, this guy stinks!